House Stark, one of the most noble and ancient families in Westeros. From the frozen lands of the north, the Starks have stood for honor, loyalty, and justice for over 8,000 years. But this tale is not one of triumph, but of tragedy. How a house built on honor fell to the cruel realities of war and betrayal. Eddard Stark, also called Ned, the Honorable Warden of the North, was a man who believed in doing what was right, no matter the cost. His sense of justice was unwavering, even when faced with the complexities of the Iron Throne. But in a world where honor was a weakness, Ned's principles would lead him and his house to ruin. Ned's downfall began when he confronted the Queen about her secret. Cersei Lannister's children were born of incest, not of the true king, Robert Baratheon. But in a den of vipers, the truth was not enough to save him. Betrayed by Littlefinger and left defenseless, Ned was forced to confess to treason, sealing his fate. The honorable man was beheaded, his death a cruel reminder that in the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Ned's death ignited the War of the Five Kings, and his eldest son, Rob Stark, rose as the king in the north. Rob was a brilliant military leader, undefeated in battle, but his heart led him astray. His marriage to Talisa Mayagir, for love rather than duty, cost him the loyalty of House Frey, a mistake that would prove fatal. At the Red Wedding, the Starks were betrayed again. Rob, his mother Catelyn, and his men were slaughtered under the guise of hospitality. The North's hopes died with them. The remaining Stark children faced their own trials. Arya became a fugitive, surviving on sheer willpower and the desire for vengeance. Sansa was a pawn in the hands of the Lannisters, enduring unspeakable cruelty. Bran, paralyzed and lost, embarked on a mystical journey that would lead him far from home. And Jon Snow, believed to be Ned's illegitimate son, found himself on the wall, fighting a different kind of war against the darkness beyond. Yet even in the darkest times, the Stark legacy endured. Jon Snow, raised as Ned's bastard, was revealed to be the son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen, born of fire and ice, the true heir to the Iron Throne. The Stark children returned to Winterfell, battle-hardened and united, reclaiming their home and their name. But the scars of the past remained. From honor to death, House Stark's tale is a reminder of the harsh truths of power, family, and survival. In the end, it was not just the enemies outside, but the conflicts within that led to their tragic downfall. But even in death, the spirit of the North endures, unyielding, like winter itself. If you found this story as compelling as we did, make sure to like this video, share it with fellow fans, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of Westeros and beyond. And remember, winter is always coming.